show me how. I'm going to show you how. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You see the floor, okay? You see all of these spots here, all right? Let's see if I can get a little brush there, okay? Stay with me now. That's one of my lines there, okay? You can see the fill, all right? You, you obviously want to get done sanding. It's got to be like this portion right here, okay? Right there. You still got leftover, tons of leftover. All right, now, hopefully you can see that. Now, let me pull it back, all right? You're gonna see me in motion with my arm flying around all over. Normally, you would use a drum sander on this, all right? A drum sander on the floor, and then you're gonna use an edger, and then you get up to 220, 180 sanding this. The drums, you never really need that. You could use a big orbital, big pie sander. But I'm gonna try this American sander. I have nothing to do with them. I just ran it anyways because I'm not a floor guy, but I've done quite a bit. These take pads from 20, which is nice, all the way up to 220. This is, I believe this is 36, maybe 20 or 36. And so I'm gonna use this, I've been using it. It's gonna take a little bit longer because it's not a drum sander. The drum sanders, if you get up on the nose, you can really start peeling off some of the some of the material that you want to get off, okay? So when you use these sanders, you should use some sort of a mask, N95 or these homemade ex-COVID masks, okay? And that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, you can use goggles, all right? Or you can use a shield. And I don't like to edit, because then people go, okay, well, what's the gaps all about? So I remember HGTV 30 years ago, I always thought it was a joke because they, they hide a lot. So just wear a shield or goggles, okay? There's, there's not much that's gonna kick up off of this, but I'll just do it for the heck of it. And I'll wear the shield. These, these, these are the uh, top grade ex-COVID shields. In case somebody was shooting sharp saliva at you. Um, okay, so this one works pretty darn good. It's not going to be as good as a drum sander, all right, as far as speed, but it's doing the job. And since I don't do floors all the time, it's, it's good. And, and the nice thing about it is, is it gets in the corners. And the edge sanders, see, that shouldn't come off that either. And the edge sanders do that. They get right up into the corners, even though they're round. So let's try this. Let me show you. Okay, real quick, just how easy it is to use. Again, I have no uh, interest or bias of American Sanders. I just like good tools. I've used this one for about an hour and it's pretty darn good. I'm not sure about the pickup on the, uh, on the vacuum with the bag. And aside from, I guess, somebody renting out the tool without the red pad, uh, they fouled up the fastener, but other than that, it, it, it's really a beauty. It's quite forgiving. Let's see. And this is what you do after you nail your floor down. You're going to fill it, trowel it in your wood filler, and then you're going to sand. And you're going to sand it all the way up to maybe 220, get it nice and smooth, get rid of all the scratch marks from the more abrasive sanding pads. And, and once you're done with, the, with all the prep work, <laughs> to varnish this takes like 10 minutes. You know, all this is where the labor is. All right, all right. So, I have to hold it here only because some knucklehead rented it out without that red pad. Okay, so, you could tie it, tie it in a loop like this, your cord, so it doesn't get away from you, okay? Safety switch. I think this is the lockdown. So you could cruise it around like this. Now I'll show you like that, okay? I'll show you what it's like, that. And then I'll show you when I've got it up on standing up so I'm gonna have more weight on the pad. So it'll cut more, okay? All right, here we go. All right.
should look just like this, okay? No little patches like this of filler. It should all come out like this right here. All right, now there's still scratch marks on there. So you might say, oh, that's looking good. It is looking good, okay? But there's still scratch marks. That's when you work up with the, with the finer pads and you can see that this is a joke. And I already told the guy at Home Depot, and he's gonna work with me, so. He's gonna give me some better, or some free pads, okay? I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the end. Watch my other videos. So all it is, I got 20 or 36 on there, I can't remember. I'll take it up to 220. This thing will be smooth, it'll look nice. And these fours, wow, that's my house. Um, you know, the Pergo and all these other ones are kind of, that's the cheap way out, the lazy man's way out. The reason why this is good is because you know what finish you have on it, you know how you built it, you have full control. And uh, don't let the government know that because they don't want you to have full control. Thank you. Show me how. Out.